Yep, Kazuya has to do everything that Ruka wants for her birthday. The first half of this episode is just fan service. Ruka wants to get closer to Kazuya on her birthday, and she manages to get permission to call him Kazuya with no honorifics, apparently signifying that they are very close as a couple. However, I will say that she does keep checking her heart rate monitor on her phone, so I am just a bit curious as to why she feels the need to objectively quantify her love. It could be that if she finds someone else who makes her heart race just a little bit more, then she could dump Kazuya and go with that person. But maybe I'm reading into things too much. This episode was actually very sweet, at least the second half was. Ruka asks Kazuya out of the blue whether he likes to take this objectively faster train or this other slower train. She likes the slow train because it gives her a better view of nature and these beautiful sakura trees blooming in the springtime. It's something I was not prepared to hear, but Ruka really does enjoy experiencing life in all its crazy wonders. Whether things might turn out horribly or not, Ruka wants to see new things and go on adventures. I simply cannot relate to feeling that emotion, considering how analytical and conservative I am. But I admire her perspective as a refreshing take on what it means to truly live, not just exist. Kazuya agrees that Ruka deserves someone special, and while this is a trial period, he is facing some heavy pressure to commit to making Ruka his real girlfriend. If I were him, I would have probably failed by now. But Kazuya is staying strong in his motivation to attain Mizuhara's heart. That's the thing about Rin a Girlfriend as a series. People dump on it for being fan service trash and cringeworthy. And while I admit those things are very true and annoy me too, I stick around to see the beauty in this anime. Ruka witnessing the joy of nature, Kazuya pining for his supposed true love, Mizuhara brilliantly acting her heart out. All these things things slowly melt my hard exterior, and I just can't help but enjoy this show. As the episode progresses, Sumi sees Mizuhara going to the hospital, and man, this scene honestly made me tear up. Sumi visited Mizuhara's bedridden grandma, and she also poured her heart out to Mizuhara, stating how Kazuya truly worked hard on the movie. Sumi said that Mizuhara and Kazuya could not have done this project without each other, and if that wasn't the cutest moment I have seen in anime, anime in a long time, then I don't know what is. In the next scene, Mizuhara goes on and on to her grandma about how Kazuya worked way too much on this movie, and he honestly was going slightly insane. She kept smiling and laughing as she enjoyed talking about his actions, and so her grandma said that she truly had the feelings of true love beginning. Mizuhara denied this, of course, but I have to agree with Granny. Mizuhara is getting in the feels. This was a great episode, and I really appreciated the whole wholesomeness towards the end. I kind of skip past the obvious fan service points because they definitely distract from the story, but the latter half of the episode was brilliant. Colorful imagery, lovely lines of dialogue, and pertinent analysis of feelings. You can't ask for more in a Rent-A-Girlfriend episode. Now I remember why this show is my favorite rom-com. What did you guys think of this episode? No manga spoilers in the comments down below, please, but feel free to say what you thought about today's episode. Make sure to subscribe for more reactions and analysis videos in the future. I can't wait to see if Mizuhara ends up realizing her true feelings, and I'm sure everything will hit the fan in the season finale. As always, this is the Eagle-Eyed Samurai, signing off.